Check that body. Get, get, get down. Hello again, welcome back to EDSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on signal flow within Cubase. Some people don't fully understand the concept of signal flow within Cubase and how it gets from one point to another, so I thought we'd start. So I've just created a audio loop. Now, if I open up my mixer within Cubase, basically when you create an audio channel, it also creates an audio channel or a fader channel within our mixer window. So in order to manipulate this now, what we need to do is press the little E edit channel settings button and this opens up our channel settings. So the first thing you need to be aware of is when the signal comes into this section the first place that it enters is this pre section here. Okay so it doesn't go anywhere else this is this is the first point that the audio hits and with this what we can do is apply sort of a low cut filter and high cut filter uh, also we can increase or decrease the gain and we can flip the phase. So I'll just play the loop and that's the high cut, there's the low cut. So you could just do a little bit of basic sculpting on your sound, increase and decrease the gain and flip the phase. Okay, now from this section here it then basically goes to our inserts insert section here which allows us to put six insert effects let's be it a reverb or a delay or a chorus anything like that will go into the first six slots now I say six because the last two slots are basically post fader so these six go pre fader which is our faders here so the first six before it goes to here then these last two go after the fader but we'll get to that in a little bit so six insert slots again that can be for reverb delays etc and then the sound travels from this last slot into the strip section which is where you can have your compressor EQ gate tool saturation and limit that are built into Cubase however we can actually flip this round so we could have the strip before the inserts and in order to do that you just press this little button here move channel strip to pre inserts so now the audio would come out of here through our strip which is nice because they're all inbuilt so you could apply a little bit of compression bit of EQ bit of saturation all within Cubase before you then go to our six insert slots and apply more effects so really handy I sometimes like the strip before the inserts because basically I like to sculpt my sound first so that drum loop that's come in I would maybe roll off the top and bottom like I've done here I might apply just some gentle compression um, I could then turn the saturation on and apply a bit of saturation so go in here and put a bit of saturation on and I might limit it and then out of that section it will go to our inserts so once it gets to the bottom of the six inserts here the audio then also goes to sends so we can actually send it out to a group if we we're doing parallel compression or we could send the signal out to an external device like a reverb or a compressor uh, something like that some external gear and then it would basically come to our fader section so once the volume once it sorry once the audio comes from the last slot here it would automatically come come to our volume fader here which allows us to be able to pan left and right also increase and decrease the volume and basically after that it then goes to our post fader slots which is what I was talking about so the audio would come out the bottom of here and then it would go to our last two slots on the insert and this allows us to be able to put um, like a final limiter or possibly dithering so if you were uh, reducing the bit rate of the audio let's say you're bouncing down you could then put um, a limiter here and then the dithering tool here and that's it so when it bounces the audio down it'll dither it and it'll be right so that's it uh, quite complicated but the beauty of this is within Cubase it allows us to manipulate which way the audio travels quite a lot so like I said with regards to the um, 
inserts in the strip and also the audio of the strip you know we can we can actually say oh, i want the magneto above my eq the maximizer i'm going to leave last but i might put a gate up there before the um let me just move that up there you go might move the noise gate up after the compressor so you can see we can doctor this quite a lot and then also you know we can move it after the inserts so on the inserts i might have i don't know a delay and then that delayed signal is going into the strip which i can then sculpt that little bit more with the eq etc so very very complex but uh, a lot of people do sort of not really use this to its full potential so it's worth having a go putting a piece of audio in and just flipping things around a lot of people don't like to eq into a compressor because if you're boosting signals obviously it's putting more strain on the compressor and it's compressing differently so you'd maybe compress first and eq after so that's possible within this and many 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 different combinations so definitely get in there have a look and experiment with this because it's a very very powerful tool which is definitely underused within cubase okay so got any questions like usual please do drop me a line until next time bye bye Check that body. Get, get, get down.